Hey guys. So, I've not long woken up. Um, so, that's why I'm still in my pyjamas. And today's a rest day anyway, so probably going to stay in pyjamas all day. Um, so I was out yesterday doing stuff, so today is a rest day. Um, I've had to do it like that recently, start doing things like that recently again, um, because of like the dizzy spells and faint spells and stuff like that. Um, and I've been getting fatigued again. Well, I always get fatigued, but lately it's been really bad again. Um, so, if I'm active one day, the next day I set as a rest day. So, that I've got time to recover, if that makes sense. Um, but, saying that, the last couple of weeks I have had a lot more energy um I think it's because of the nice weather we've been having the sun sun's been shining and stuff um and that's why it's like every summer for me like I get like when the sun starts coming out I get loads of energy I start to feel better um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm solar powered. Yeah, I'm solar powered Suki, basically. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I've had like, I've had the energy, a lot of energy and I've been feeling really good and I've been like, yay, let's go use this. And obviously, cause I'm an outdoors kind of person and I like being out in nature and doing stuff like that. I've been like, yay, let's go, and yeah, overdone it a little bit, um, because I have the energy, um, but once I've used that energy, I get really fatigued, I start to feel dizzy, nauseous, stuff like that, um, and I've got to remind myself that when I start to get to that point where I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling, starting to feel fatigued, that's when I've got to stop and rest. That's when I've got to go home and rest for a day or two, you know? And it's really hard doing that because I want to be out and about, I want to be on the go. But yeah, so I've got to keep reminding myself, no, stop, rest. Um, so yeah, um, so today I'm going to be resting, but I do have to clean my desk because it's so disorganized. It's hurting my eyes right now. I've got wires trailing everywhere. I've got Xbox controllers everywhere. Remote controls for various things. Um, a mirror. Um, <laughs> it's like snacks. That should be on the snack tray. Um, so yeah, I've got to tidy this desk and organise it. And then I'm going to have a go at playing around with Minecraft and seeing if I can make another Minecraft video. Um, the Minecraft videos I made recently, the Stupid O'Clock videos, I have not posted them on YouTube yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna. I might do at a later date as like a little series or something. But at the moment they're only available on the Chronically Suki Facebook page. Um, so if you're interested in looking at them, go to the Facebook page. You may have to scroll a little bit to find them or, or whatever. Um, but yeah, they're, they're on the Facebook page somewhere. 
Um, I think I've made like three or four of them so far in the series, in the Stupid O'Clock series. Um, I have been wanting to make more, but I've had issues with the software I've been using on my computer. Um, the OpenReach broadcasting software, um, that works fine. Um, but the trouble is, when Minecraft recently ha has had another big update, since that big update, um, Minecraft works fine on its own on my computer. Works absolutely fine. No lag, nothing. Um, but as soon as I press record on the OBS, um, yeah, the whole computer, the game, everything that lags out, um, and, um, when I check the finished product, the video that it's produced the video it's a laggy as heck and yeah it's it not very good at all so today i'm going to be working on finding out if there's another way which i i know i have um the xbox app where i can stream my xbox game um so i may play on there and record my screen see if i can record my screen um i don't know but i'm gonna be working that out today and seeing if i can make a video today um if not i may just have to wait to do more of the minecraft videos until i manage to get my computer upgraded because I think that's what, what is, what's needed, to be honest. I need an upgraded, like, I don't know, graphics card or... Oh, what am I running now? Ryzen 5? So, yeah, that's pretty dated. I don't know. I think, what are we on now with Ryzen 7, 8? I don't know. I don't know much about computers and stuff, so but yeah that's pretty dated so i may look into building a have a go at building my own gaming pc um and teach myself how to do that that'll be a fun project so yeah i know nothing about how to build computers but i'm sure i can learn with the help of youtube videos um and trial and error um <laughs> but yeah so that that might be fun um i have got more photography videos planned as well i have something in this box i'm not going to show you what that is now that is for a later video um so yeah um hopefully in the next few days i'll get out with my camera again and go do some photography um because i do have the a new wrist strap as well um i bought the one the other day the other week that just goes around my wrist there and attaches to one point on the camera i've now got one that attaches to two points on the camera and goes around my wrist and my hand uh, and it's made the camera more secure um, when I'm holding it obviously because I've got really loose joints and my wrist likes to just pop in and out on its own regularly um, yeah i don't want to accidentally drop the camera and also where i have um grip issues and muscle spasms in my hands sometimes yeah i don't want to drop the camera so yeah it was better for me to get the wrist and hand strap um 
and I've tried it out on the camera and it works really well. I would show you it now that it's packed away and I just can't be bothered to, to get it all out. Um, so that'll have to wait for the next video. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd make this video and ramble at the camera. Um, because I haven't made a vlog video like this in a while where I just sit and ramble at the camera. And I know how much you guys enjoy these videos, me just sat here rambling. Um, <laughs> probably not, no. Um, um, but yeah, in other news, the stuff with the neighbour uh, think where was we? Where were the? Yeah, um, I think I said before in another video that the police have dropped the case again, and me and John have kind of given up with them. Um, uh, but the neighbour has been kind of quiet for a good few weeks and sort of behaved himself uh, I started to think that maybe he had actually moved out because I, I couldn't hear him in his flat because usually all our neighbours we can hear them turning on and off their taps and stuff like that because of the noisy plumbing and you can hear people moving around and whatnot you know we live all live on top of each other and stuff so we're gonna hear each other um and i haven't heard him in his flat doing anything so i had start to thought oh okay maybe he he's moved out um until was it yesterday the day before well the last couple of days um he's started randomly banging on the walls again um and and that i don't know why me and john just sat here quietly uh and yeah he just started banging on the walls for no reason so we just thought like okay whatever and we ignored ignored him the other day we were doing housework and he started banging on the walls i'm not sure why because we weren't really making noise doing the housework um you know so i just put my music on and turned it up to drown him out um so i could just get on with doing the housework so i could just ignore him um and he stopped he stopped banging um and then he put his music on <laughs> um as well so i thought well it's during the day it's not really a problem you know so I think that's the way it's going to go now. Every time he starts getting noisy and starts banging on the walls and shouting and stuff, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to put my music on and yeah, because that's the only thing I can do at the moment um, because the authorities can't do anything about the situation. Um, the housing people can't do anything about the situation well they can they just can't be bothered basically um because he should have been evicted uh because of his behavior and the fact that he had an antisocial behavior order put on him and some sort of community order or something i don't know um and basically in a tenancy agreement it states that if he causes trouble or behaves in a threatening manner towards other residents he can be evicted 
if he's prosecuted or if he has an antisocial behaviour order put on him, he can be evicted. Um, he's had all of that, but still not been evicted. Um, now, obviously, I don't want him to become homeless over it. I don't want anyone to become homeless. Um, you know, I've been homeless before and it's not fun. Um, so I wouldn't want anyone to become homeless. But in a way, it's if he does become homeless, if he does get evicted, it's his own fault because of the way he's behaved. Um, you know, uh, but yeah, the council won't evict him. Apparently he's put in for a move though. So hopefully he'll get a move, unlikely, but hopefully he will and whatnot. Council still won't move me, I'm not eligible. Um, and also, even if I was eligible, they wouldn't be able to move me because currently in Southampton, there are no accessible social housing for disabled people. Um, the only accessible disabled housing is for people who are over 50. And I know I'm going grey. Well, I'm not grey at the moment, I'm blue. Um... It's my natural colour. Um, um, but yeah, I know I'm going like grey and white. But yeah, I'm not I'm not quite fifty yet, you know. I'm only thirty six, so yeah. So as for getting a move, I mean I can probably get a move on the home swapper thing. I'm on I'm on that. And I have been keeping a check on that, but nothing is suitable. Um, so I'm, if I were to, pit, if I did want to get a move on the home supper, I'd have to go for something that is inaccessible for me. Um, I mean, I've seen a few really nice places that are close to the town centre, which would be perfect. Um, a couple of places that are close, close to the hospital as well, which would be really good. Make life easier for me when I go for my appointments. But the trouble is, they either have no lift to the flat, so it's all stairs. Um, which is no good for me in my wheelchair. Um, or they have no um, adaptions. So like I need the wet room shower and stuff like that with all the handrails and stuff. Um, yeah. So... I'd, if I wanted to get a move, I probably could in the next couple of months, but it would be somewhere that is unsuitable for my disabilities and for my needs and stuff, um, which would then impact my, um, oh, what do you call it, my independence, which I don't have much of that left, so... Yeah, I'd have none left because I'd be stuck in a flat and I wouldn't be able to get out because there'd be no lift or something stupid like that, you know. And the trouble is, um, people have said to me, well, well, the council can make the adaptions for you. Uh, it's not that simple. I've already had adaptions made to this flat uh, by the Southampton Social Services Disability Team. Um, they're the ones that deal with the adaptions. Um, and the problem is, once they've done adaptions for you, if you move, they're not going to do those adaptions again somewhere else, you know? 
um, <laughs> which is stupid. I suppose in a way it's not stupid though. It stops people going, yeah, I'll get adaptions here. And then after a couple of weeks after getting the adaptions, move in and get more adaptions because they get it all free. You know, I didn't have to pay for any of the, the adaptions. Um, so, yeah, I suppose it stops people taking liberties with it. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, I'm kind of, like, stuck here in this one, to be honest, for the moment. Which, to be honest... Yeah, this fat is, is is a crap hole. There's black mold, there's yeah, it's it's it, you know it's ideal at the moment because it's a roof over my head. I mean the only problem is at the moment is the black mold and the arsehole neighbour. Um they're the only two problems. Um and I do like the area so I, I like Western Shore and and the river and the woods and then Netley and Victoria Country Park and everything it's really nice in the summer um, so I do like this area so in one way I don't want to move but yeah um bit of a tricky situation really but but yeah we're just gonna have to deal with what's going on and put up with the neighbour now um and I think our new system where if he kick, starts kicking off we just put put music on loud and drown him out um if it's after the if it's after like seven o'clock in the evening no seven eight o'clock in the evening we tend to just put our headphones on um and listen to the music that way because we don't want to upset our other neighbors um and one of our other neighbors has small children so we don't want to keep them awake at night and stuff you know so we use our headphones at night just to if he's kicking off just to block him out and usually me and John are gaming at night anyway so we're not really in the evenings we we game with our friends and stuff so we don't really listen to music in the evening much but but yeah during the day whilst we're trying to get on with our day we just put and if he starts kicking off we just put the loud music on drown him out he tends to shut up when we do that i think he's realized oh hang on a minute they're not going to be able to hear me so what's the point in me shouting and screaming at them so that seems to be kind of working um and that seems to be helping with our mental health as well because we're not sat here having to hear it you know because when you constantly have someone shouting and screaming abuse and threats at you, that plays on your your mental health. If you can't hear that abuse and threats, then it's not going to play on your mental health, is it? That's my logic. That's how my logic's working anyway. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening there. As for the doctors, I've been saying I've got to go to the doctors, get checked out, I'm overdue. Still haven't done it. Um, I keep getting messages from the doctors as well saying, oh, you're overdue a blood test. You're overdue your yeah. um, blood pressure test. You're overdue this, you're overdue that. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I've got to make an appointment, I've got to make an appointment. 
but then I never do. I forget or I get busy doing other stuff or I just keep procrastinating and I'm putting it off because I cannot be bothered to go be medically poked and prodded. Um, I'm getting sick of it. Um, but I know I have to go go do it. Which I probably will in the next week or two. Um, I mean, because John needs to go see the doctor as well, so maybe, and he's been kind of making excuses as to why he can't as well, so maybe it's something we both do together, I can just say to John, look, if you go see the doctor, then I'll go see him and we can go on the same day and get sorted together and support each other in it and the, uh, um, you know. So it might work that way. Um, I'm trying to clean this desk a little. It's just too much, too much of, too much, you know. My new controller that I bought yesterday is called Glitch Green. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's a wired, wired controller. Um, I was having trouble with my wireless controller. It, it's been a bit iffy lately. Um, mid game, it decides it's going to switch itself off. So at first I thought, oh, okay, maybe the batteries are on out. So I took the battery out and swapped it over. I have these rechargeable little batteries these are pretty good by the way um yeah i got this on amazon it wasn't too expensive either i can't remember exactly how much it was maybe i could put the link in the comments below um but yeah so i switched the battery out tried switching it on and it wouldn't switch on so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to give up gaming for the night then if my controller's not working. Because at the time, this was the only controller I had um, that worked. Um, so, yeah, and then the day after, I switched it on again and it, it actually went on. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, it's working now. Um, check the battery. Battery was fully charged. Um... And I was playing for a, mi a couple of minutes and then it switched itself off again. So I was like, okay, well, it's not the battery, so why why is it doing that? But I switched the batteries out anyway, just to make sure still wouldn't switch on. So I put it down, left it for a few minutes, um, and then came back to it a bit later and switched it on and it went on again. So I, okay. So I quickly went into the settings and updated the controller and since then it seems to be working okay. It hasn't switched itself off again. Um, seems to be working okay but I thought well I'll go buy an extra controller anyway because I do need one to use on my PC as well because I get sick of trying to play Minecraft and do my AFK um, my AFK XP farm with a keyboard um, I hate gaming with keyboards I'm sorry hardcore PC gamers are going to be shouting at me now um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like gaming with keyboards. It's really difficult. I find it easier with, with controllers. Um, but yeah, so my, my AFK XP farm, it involves being logged in on two different accounts into the same game on two different devices. Um, I have one logged in on my computer um, one account logged in on my xbox I've joined the xbox the minecraft game with both i sit one character 
at the XP at the spawner and then another character at the kill chamber where the monsters the zombies land and I can kill them and get their XP um the XP farm won't work if there's no one stood at the spawner so yeah it involves two characters one of them AFK by the spawner <laughs> um so yeah I need two controllers to do that um unless I get John to join my my minecraft and go and sit at the spawner for me um but yeah um it's awkward um so yeah I'm gonna be playing around with all of that today Sorry, I could hear a weird high-pitched ringing sort of sound. It's weird. I think it's... That's probably something that I've got so many electricals around me, it's probably all of them making noises at me. Um, but, oh my god, why is... Um, well that's a bit better, but yeah, um, I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, not much else has been going on really. Just been, when I've been home, I've mainly been resting, um, doing a bit of chores. Um, and with the chores, the housework, I've got a... Uh, takes me ages to get it done these days because even sweeping the floors, I've kind of got to sweep like half the room and then sit down and take a rest for a little bit and then finish the other half of the room and then sit down and take a rest for a little while so yeah like too much activity in one go makes me really dizzy and nauseous and faint so i've sort of like been very careful and i think some days i don't get the dizziness though like and i think it all depends on what i've eaten as well that day because i found like if i've not eaten all day the dizziness is worse so i think it is like a the a blood sugar thing so i think maybe the issues i'm having with my eating are contributing to my heart issues if that makes sense um so i keep trying to eat but like yeah some days are just not hungry some days food just repulses me and i just want to throw up looking at it you know so and i'm not sure why because i like food um <laughs> it's just really weird thing like i could be sat here eating some food really enjoying it no problem at all and then all of a sudden my body will go no we're not going to eat that now and for some reason i can't physically swallow um and i just end up gagging and throwing up and i don't know why because there's no problem with the food the food's absolutely fine i'm enjoying the food nothing has happened to put me off the food it's just my brain goes no we don't want this now um and then i just physically can't eat anymore and if i try i just end up gagging and choking and throwing up and stuff so yeah there's something wrong that which i'll probably got to see a doctor about as well but um 
but then I've always had issues with food with my eating since I was a little kid I think it's all part of like the autism and everything as well um I've always been a bit weird with food sometimes like I can't have certain foods touching each other um like wet food can't touch dry food uh, <laughs> um yeah and I can't eat soggy foods um like bread I avoid bread sometimes and I avoid sandwiches because if they're made in the wrong way the bread goes soggy and I cannot stand soggy bread um so yeah um and then food like foods meats with like if it's got like gristle and stuff like that in it if I find a bit of gristle in some meat on me and then no that's it can't eat that meat can't eat that food can't eat that whole meal can't eat the next meal either <laughs> you know it's just um but I've been trying to have snacks around and stuff pack of bickies um I'm trying to make sure it's healthy snacks but yeah most of the time it just ends up being chocolate sweets crisps yeah probably not great um I probably should make up some sort of trail mix or I don't know fruit and nuts or something probably be healthier um although I did have seaweed Japanese seaweed crackers the other day they're quite healthy and they're quite tasty as well so but yeah um and I have been managed to, managing to eat some meals um I mean yesterday when me and John were out we went and had a meal and I managed to polish the whole thing off um cleared the whole plate which was good um but then yesterday was a good day with my mental health and physical health and I've noticed when my mental health and physical health is okay my eating is okay as well so it's like it's all connected so if my mental health is bad it has an impact on my physical health and on my eating and everything as well so it's trying to keep them all happy and balanced and yeah it, it's it's exhausting it's a lot of work trying to keep it all balanced and some days i just can't be bothered with it and i'm just like no we're not gonna eat today we're not we're not gonna human we're just not gonna life today we're just gonna stay in our pajamas and we're gonna play video games or we're just gonna stay in bed and sleep all day um yeah but yeah anyway i think i've gabbed on enough um i have to finish cleaning this desk up and then work on messing around with this computer and seeing if i can get the video game playing on my computer and get it recording without lag happening so yeah i'm probably gonna just let you all go now and stop gabbing um there will be more videos in the next couple of days as i said you can find out what is in this box if you watch the next video um which will be a photography related video um yeah i'll be out and about again hopefully with john this time and he, he can help me with the the video in while I'm I'm um, messing around with the camera because last time it was when I went out on my own it it was really difficult because I was trying to operate the video camera thingy my wheelchair 
and the photography camera. Um, so yeah, trying to deal with all three of them and look at where I was steering. And yeah, it, it was really difficult in the video that came out of it all was really like all over the place and yeah but then I'm usually all over the place so I suppose it's fitting but um yeah anyway I'm gonna go why am I playing with my keyboard I'm trying to stop videoing on my phone by using my keyboard the keyboard is for the what am I doing See, this is the fatigue, fatigue and brain fog that makes you do some really weird, stupid stuff, like putting salt in your tea, thinking it's sugar. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna shut up now. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I shall see you all later. Hopefully, in the next few days, I'll be doing another video out and about. Um, but today, just a rest day. Um, yeah. Uh, see you all later. Bye bye.